gonna jump, start, jump, 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 We're gonna jump, start, jump, 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 Well, hello. I didn't notice you there. You look familiar. Uh, but then again, maybe you don't. Can't tell anymore, you know. My eyes aren't what they used to be. But you're just in time. The mail truck is on its way. If you're new, just type your name on this card and I'll get you all signed up for the Jumpstart Pen Pal Club. You'll get mail from all over the United States. If you've been here before, just find your name on the list here and click. If you don't see your name on the list, use the pencils to scroll up and down until you find it. See that send button down there? Yeah, the green one. You can see better than me anyway. Just click there when you're ready. Psst! Follow me! There's an adventure underfoot! Whoa, whoa! Hey, liver lips! Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> okay, Edison, you can come too. I don't get any respect around here. We don't have all day. Bet you'd never guess there was an elevator back here. An adventurer needs to be prepared for everything. Will that be sporting goods, home appliances, or furniture? First stop, the secret clubhouse. Here we go. Welcome to our clubhouse! This is an adventurer's first stop. My name is CJ, and this is my pal, Edison. Pleased to meet you. We're here to help you out and guide you on all of your adventures. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started! Not so fast. You forgot to mention the mail. Good thinking, Edison. There are two ways to explore, the stamps mode and the adventurer mode. You're always in the stamps mode. That means that when you succeed at any of our games or activities, you win points towards stamps. Every time you get 100 points, you win a brand new animated stamp. You can collect stamps in your own stamp book. Mr. Brewster the Mailbird will help you out.
but for your convenience, we'll add this stamp to keep track of your points. That'll follow you everywhere you go. The second way to play is the adventure mode. As a Jumpstart Pen Pal, you'll get letters from kids around the country. Your pals will challenge you to a bunch of different tasks. If you solve their challenges, they'll send you really cool postcards from their home states. How about showing us a sample, Edison? If you insist. This is a map of the whole United States. There are 50 states in all. You are going to be getting letter challenges from kids just like you in all of these states. When you solve a challenge, the home state of the pen pal who sent it will light up. Like this one. That's Florida. Dear pen pal, thank you for the great picture. I am putting it on my wall at home. Your friend, Juan. Cape Canaveral in Florida includes the Kennedy Space Center, where the space shuttle blasts off. CJ already solved that challenge for you. Try to solve all the challenges and light up the whole map. To play a challenge, you'll have to wait till Mr. Brewster brings you some pen pal letters. No sooner said than done. Click on the mail room and Mr. Brewster will help you get started on an adventurous challenge. Or you can go to any fun activity and just start playing for stamp points. Hey, are, there's a lot you can do in the clubhouse. Edison, will you do the honors? Do I look like a tour guide? Click on the jukebox to play a new song. There's the water cooler if you want to play the bubble game. That branch will lead you to the fruit tree, where Edison will show you a game of concentration. You can take the ladder to the lookout, but that's only for the seasoned adventurer, ready to face danger and peril. The computer is there if you feel like typing anything you want. An adventurer always wants to improve. If you want to see how you're doing in a subject area, just click on the report card on the wall. Or explore the clubhouse on your own. Try clicking on anything you see. You never know what you might find. An adventurer must always have a love of music and the arts. Would you like to play a song? Click on any of the tunes you see. Shoe Fly, 32 cents. Here's some change. Remember to use exact change. 25 cents. 30 cents. 31 cents. Good job. And now for your listening pleasure. Shoe fly. An adventurer is always equipped to handle the most grueling circumstances, and the fish tank is no exception. The goldfish is very hungry. Can you help feed it? 
fish really like worms. Click on a worm in Edison's jar and click on the correct bubble. The goldfish will gobble it up. You only have a few worms, so use them carefully. A bunch of food bubbles are about to be dropped into the tank, but the goldfish can only eat the right bubbles. Click on the treasure chest to get started, and the starfish will show you which bubbles the fish can eat. Are you ready to try again? Round one. Numbers greater than... 10. 57. 91. You got it! 67. You got it! 30. You got it! 2 Numbers greater than 76 Water's not good for the wind 81 Great job 98 Great job 90. Great job. 98. You got it. 99. You got it. 88. You got it. Round 3. Odd numbers. 86. Take another look at the 97. You got it. 32. The goldfish looks sick. 53. Great job. 49. You got it. 8. The goldfish looks sick. 17. You got it. 9. You got it. 83. Great. 5. You got it. 79. Great job. 77. Great job. 65. Great job. 39. You got it. 39. I don't like this one bit. Round 5. Numbers less than 36. 35. You got 19. Great job. 28. Great job. 9. Great job. 10. You got it. 11. Great job. 25. You got 21. It. You got 13. Great job. Four. You got it. You just got 30. Bubbles. Explorer, click on me if you already know the route. I'm an explorer. The goldfish is very hungry. Can you help feed it?
fish really like worms. Click on a worm in Edison's jar and click on the correct bubble. The goldfish will gobble it up. You only have a few worms, so you... Round 1 Numbers between 17 and 63 You got it! 64 You got 31 You got it! Eighty-two! You got it! Thirty! You got it! Forty-two! You got it! Round two! Numbers between! Thirty-eight! Fifty! Great job! Sixty-three! You got it! Fifty-three. You. Sixty-seven. You got it. Sixty. Great job. Fifty-nine. Great job. Sixty-two. Great job. Round three. Odd numbers between. 63 and 12 57 Great job 31 Great job 27 You got it 59 Great job 15 Great job 21 Great job 19 You 31. You got it! Round 4. I numbers between 3 and 64. 24. Great job! 58. Great! 46. You got it! Eight. Great job. Twenty-seven. You got twenty-five. You got it. Thirty-three. Great job. Round five. Even numbers between 1 and 97. 88. Great job. 62. Great job. 42. Great job. 26. Great job. 84. You got 72. You got it. 4. You got it! Four! Great! Four! Great job! Fifty-two! You got it! You just got... Thirty-eight! Bubbles! A bunch of food bubbles are about to be dropped into the tank, but the goldfish can only eat the- I'm a trailblazer. Click on me if you've mastered the other levels. I'm a trailblazer. Round 1. Numbers less than... 2 times... 5 9 You got it! Zero. You got it! Eight. You got it! Nine. Great job! Seven. Great! Five. Great job! Round two. Words with the hard C sound, like cup. 
crank. You got it. Cigar. Cradle. Great job. Crate. You coffee. Great. Cot. You got it. Cradle. Great job. Words with the soft G sound, like Jim. Gone. The goldfish looks sick. Ginger. Great job. Page. You got it. Charm. Great. Rage. Great job. Bulge. Bulge. Great job. Change. You got it. Round four. You have to get the bubbles numbers Before they greater the than four times two twenty six. You got it. Twenty. Ooh. That's the wrong bubble. You got it. 32. Great job. 95. Ooh, that's the wrong bubble. You got it. 57. You 75. 77. Great job. 84. Great job. 38. You got it. Round five. Words with the hard C sound, like cup, crazy, you, cart, you got it, crate, you got it, cradle, you got it, space, ooh, that's the wrong bubble, coast, great job. Lace. Take another look at the starfish. Take a crazy. Great job. You just got 33. Bubbles. A bunch of food bubbles are a... Psst! We'll take you on an adventure! How about another selection? Jump and rope! 41 cents! Here's some change! Remember to use exact change! 25 cents! 35 cents! 40 cents. Good job. And now, for your listening pleasure, jump and rope.
This is a great place to type anything you want. Just use your keyboard down there to enter the letters. There's a lot you can do in the clubhouse. We have been recruited by the Stellar Command! Horrible aliens are trying to invade the planets in our solar system, and we have to help stop them! This is a mission of incredible danger and jeopardy! I'm shaking in my space boots. Quick, listen to the clue from the Intergalactic Alien Task Force. I-A-T-F, for short. Holy moly, cruel me aliens are about to land on the fourth planet from the sun. Hurry! Click on the celestial identifier on the wall over there! It'll help us locate the correct planet. Oh. Now, click on the correct planet. Holy moly! Cruel me aliens are about to land on the fourth planet from the sun. Mars! You got it! Pilot to co-pilot. You mean me? Lieutenant Edison, all systems are go! Yeah, go already. Let's get this tin can off the ground. Blast off! And we have touchdown! Welcome to Mars! 
Lieutenant Edison, ready for spacewalk? My toes are tapping. Commence spacewalk! Ooh, a little nippy out here. Lieutenant, any sign of aliens? Not yet, sir. We'll use this chart to monitor the number of aliens that land on the planet. Be very careful. If five aliens land, then the planet will be invaded. The yellow column shows how many aliens you have defeated. Keep an eye on it as you defend the planet. Ready to deploy land cruiser. Roger, Commander. You can control the land cruiser by using your left and right arrow keys. Use the space bar to fire. Alert! Alert! Aliens approaching! Get ready! Here they come! Fire! Great job! You did it! Great job! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching! You did it! Fire! Great job! You did it! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching! Fire! You did it! Fire! You did it! You did it! You got all the aliens! The Intergalactic Alien Task Force will be proud! Where are the little aliens off to now? Let's wait for another clue! Horrible aliens are trying to invade the planets in our solar system, and we have to help stop them! Holy moly! Cruel mean aliens are about to land on the fourth planet from the sun. Hurry! Click on the celestial identifier on the wall over there! It'll help us locate the correct planet. Now, click on the correct planet! Holy moly! Cruel mean aliens are about to land on the fourth planet from the sun. Mars! You got it! Pilot to co-pilot! You mean me? Lieutenant Edison, all systems are go! Yeah, go already. Let's get this tin can off the ground. Blast off! And we... I'm an explorer. Click on me if you already know the ropes. I'm a trailer. And we have touchdown! Welcome to Mars! Lieutenant Edison, ready for spacewalk? My toes are tapping. Commence spacewalk! Ooh, a little nippy out here. Lieutenant, any sign of aliens? Not yet, sir. We'll use this chart to monitor the number of aliens that land on the planet. Be very careful. If five aliens land, then the planet will be invaded. The yellow column shows how many aliens you have defeated. Keep an eye on it as you defend the planet. Ready to deploy land cruiser. Roger, Commander. You can control the land cruiser by using your left and right arrow keys. Use the space bar to fire. Alert! Alert! Aliens approaching! Get ready! Here they come! Fire! Great job! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching! Great job! Fire! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching! You did it! Fire! Sir, 
Another wave of aliens approaching. You did it! Fire! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching. Great job! Fire! Great job! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching. You did it! the little aliens off to now. Let's wait for another clue. Quick, listen to the clue from the Intergalactic Alien Task Force. Aliens about to land on the seventh planet from the sun. Now, click on the correct planet. Aliens about to land on the seventh planet from the sun. Uranus. You got it. Pilot to co-pilot. You mean me? Lieutenant Edison, all systems are go! Yeah, go already. Let's get this tin can off the ground. Blast off! And we... I'm a trailblazer. Click on me if you've mastered the other levels. And we have touchdown! Welcome to Uranus! Lieutenant Edison, ready for spacewalk? My toes are tapping. Commence spacewalk! Ooh, a little nippy out here. Lieutenant, any sign of aliens? Not yet, sir. We'll use this chart to monitor the number of aliens that land on the planet. Be very careful. If five aliens land, then the planet will be invaded. The yellow column shows how many aliens you have defeated. Keep an eye on it as you defend the planet. Ready to deploy land cruiser! Roger, Commander! You can control the land cruiser by using your left and right arrow keys. Use the spacebar to fire. Alert! Alert! Aliens approaching! Get ready! Here they come! Fire! You did it! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching. Great job! Fire! You did it! Sir, another wave of aliens approaching. from the sun. They're about to land. Somebody help. Now, click on the correct planet. Jupiter. Good job. Pilot to co-pilot. You mean me? 
Lieutenant Edison, all systems are go! Yeah, go already. Let's get this tin can off the ground. Blast off! And we have touchdown! Welcome to Jupiter! Lieutenant Edison, ready for spacewalk? My toes are tapping. Commence spacewalk! Ooh, a little nippy out here. Lieutenant, any sign of aliens? Not yet, sir. We'll use this chart to monitor the number of aliens that land on the planet. Be very careful. If five aliens land, then the planet will be invaded. The yellow column shows how many aliens you have defeated. Keep an eye on it as you defend the planet. Ready to deploy land cruiser. Roger, Commander. You can control the land cruiser by using your left and right arrow keys. Use the space bar to fire. Alert! Alert! Aliens approaching! Get ready! Here they come! of aliens approaching. Off to now. Let's wait for another clue. Quick, listen to the clue from the Intergalactic Alien Task Force. We'll take you on an adventure. How about another selection? Fifty cents. Twenty-five cents. You just got a stamp of John Adams. An adventurer must always have a hobby. This is your own personal stamp book. Use it to collect the stamps you win. Use the arrows to move from page to page. There are several different categories of stamps. Try to collect them all. If you already have stamps, try clicking them to see what happens. John A This section This is the president John Adams He avoided war with France Good job Let's rock <laughs> They are playing the snare drum in the marching band. They're playing the snare drum in the marching band. 
They are playing the snare drum in the marching band. They are playing the trombone in the marching band. They're playing the trombone in the marching band. They are playing the trombone in the marching band. They are playing the piccolo in the marching band. They're playing the piccolo in the marching band. They are playing the piccolo in the marching band. They are playing the bass drum in the marching band. They're playing the bass drum in the marching band. They are playing the bass drum in the marching band. They are playing the trumpet in the marching band. They are playing the trumpet in the marching band. They are playing the trumpet in the marching band. They are playing the cymbals in the marching band. They are playing the cymbals in the marching band. They are playing the cymbals in the marching band. Now the marching band is running down the street, down the street. Now the marching band is running down the street, down the street. If the leader was to fall, so would everyone and all. I sure hope that he is steady on his. Look out! Feet. So, you want to play concentration? Well, this is a very special kind of concentration game. In this game, we're going to match pictures. One fifth. One sixth. I think you're very close. One third. One ninth. I think you're very close. Give it another try. One half. One tenth. How about another one? One half. One half. That's right. One fourth. One tenth. I think you're very close. One fifth. One fourth. I think you're one tenth. One tenth. Great job. One seventh. One seventh. You got it. One fourth. One third. I think you're one fifth, one ninth. I think you're one fourth, one fourth. That's right. One third, one sixth. How about another one? One ninth, one fifth. How about another one sixth? One third. How about another one third? One third. Great job. One fifth, one ninth. I think you're very. One sixth, one ninth. How about another one? One fifth, one ninth. How about a one sixth, one ninth? I think you're very one sixth, one sixth. Great job. One ninth, one ninth. That's right. One fifth, one fifth. Good show. You got them all. Let's try a different category this time. One In fifth. this game, we're going to match pictures. One seventh. I think you're very close. One third. One half. How about another one? One fourth. One fifth. How about one ninth? One eighth. I think you're one tenth. One third. I think you're very one third. One third. You got it. One seventh. One eighth. How about another one tenth? One tenth. Great job. One eighth. One fifth. How about another one seventh? One eighth. I think you're one seventh. 
One seventh. That's right. One eight. One fifth. I think you're very. One half. One ninth. How about an one ninth? One ninth. That's right. One half. One fourth. I think you're very. One fifth. One fifth. That's right. One half. One half. You got it. One fourth. One eighth. How about an one fourth? One eighth. I think you're one fourth. One fourth. Great job. One eighth. One eighth. Good show. You got them all. Let's try a different category this time. One tenth. One fourth. I think you're one eighth. One tenth. I think you're one fourth. One tenth. I think you're one tenth. One tenth. That's right. One seventh. One fourth. How about one ninth? One seventh. How about another one seventh? One seventh. You got it. One sixth. One fifth. I think you're one sixth. One sixth. You got it. One ninth. One ninth. You got it. One f one fifth. Great job. One third. One third. That's right. One one eighth. How about a one eighth? One eighth. Great job. One fourth. One Good fourth. Show you got them all. Let's try a different category this time. In this game, we're going to match pictures. Sphere. Sphere. You got it. Cylinder. Diamond. I think you're very close. Hexagon. Circle. I think you're very close. Cube. Circle. I think you're very... Cube. Cube. That's right. Cylinder. Circle. How about a... Circle. Circle. You got it. Diamond. Square. How about another... Cylinder. Square. I think you're very... Hexagon. Triangle. I think... Diamond. Square. How about another... Diamond. Diamond. You got it. Cylinder. Square. How about another cylinder? Hexagon. How about a triangle? Hexagon. How about another one? Hexagon. Hexagon. Great job. Cylinder. Square. How about a square? Square. That's right. Cylinder. Triangle. How about cylinder? Cylinder. You got it. Triangle. Triangle. Good show. You got them all. Let's play again. In this game, we're going to match pictures. Circle. Phone. How about another one? Sphere. Hexagon. How about another? Click on the mail room and Mr. Brewster will help you get started on an adventurous challenge. Or you can go to any fun activity and just start playing for stamp points. You've got some mail. Click there if you want to read your letters. Dear Pen Pal, this is Bonnie writing from Kansas. I have been reading about animals and what they eat. Can you tell me an animal that likes fruit very much? Thanks, Bonnie. You can choose to work on this Pen Pal Challenge, or you can look at another. Click on the play on... Dear Pen Pal, this is Henna from Nevada. When I walk to school with my mom, I see lots of signs on the street. What is the one that tells you not to cross the street? Thanks, Henna. You... Dear Pen Pal, my name's Miguel. I am running. Dear Pen Pal, how are you? My name is Lenny. I. Dear Pen Pal, this is Bonnie writing from Kansas. I have been reading about animals. There's a lot you can do in the clubhouse.
There is chance and uncertainty with each of these perilous locations. Oh, brother. The classroom. I'll keep watching the elevator, Edison. You can handle any danger that might come up in here, right? If the chalk decides to stage a hostile takeover, I'll let you know. That's the spirit! Now, let's get down to business. See that easel over there? Click that if you want to draw, paint, color in a piece of famous artwork, or put stickers on a neat background. See that chalkboard? Click there for some neat songs about nouns, verbs, and adjectives. You know what they are. That bookcase has a great selection. If you want to read and write your own story, click there. That's my favorite, so I'll even help you out if you need me to. Now that science book down there has a halfway decent tune that you can hear if you click on it. What else? Oh, yeah. The room is at your fingertips. Click on anything to see what you might find. Okay, it's just you and me now, so we can get down to business. Welcome to my humble abode. Living room to my right, reading room to my left. We have a fine selection of reading materials. We've got adventures in adjectives. That's a good one. Old green toads would like that. Then there's very scary verbs. Not for the light-hearted, but then again, not a sleeper either. And last but not least, there's knucklehead nouns. Self-defeating stories of whim and folly. So there you go. Just let me know which one you want by clicking on it. Adventures in Adjectives You can choose one of these stories from the table of contents. Katie Gleason's Band Dynamo Girl Saves the Day Katie Gleason's Band by Mark Beckwith Some of the words have come off the pages. Well, snap to it, kid. You'll have to put the words back into the blank spaces. Nice guy that I am. I'll even help you out. I put some clues under the blank spaces. Here are some words that may go in the blanks. So, pick them up, move them, do whatever you want. Just get them in the right place. You have to put the words in the right place. Look at the clue under the blank. There can be more than one answer. Your story can be different every time. If you don't know what a word means, drag it over to me, and I'll tell you. Adjectives are describing words, like blue, pretty, and old. If you want to really see what a noun, a verb, or even an adjective is, my friends the chalk and the eraser can help you out at the blackboard. Silver. Good job! Light. Good job! Heavy. That was a good choice. A Good job! Adjectives are describing words, like blue, pretty, and old. Pleased. Oh, I like that one. Polka. Rock. Oh, I like that one. Comp. That was a good choice. Katie Gleason's Band by Mark Beckwith. Katie Gleason was a tuba player. She dreamed of playing her tuba in a real band someday. Katie's tuba was a silver instrument. And was quite heavy for her, but she loved it. 
Oddly, when Katie practiced her instrument, her dog would make the most amused faces. One day, Katie got a chance to audition with a real band. She felt quite pleased as she hurried to the bandstand with her tuba in its case. There was a rock band with four other musicians waiting for her. Together, they all began playing the most complex music. That was a wonderful story, and I'm not one for compliments. Dynamo Girl Saves the Day by Christopher Blake Williams Adjectives are describing words, like blue, pretty, and old. If you want to really see what a noun, a verb, or even an adjective is, my friends the chalk and the eraser can help you out at the blackboard. Metal Oh, I like that one. Mountain top. Oh, I like that one. Adjectives are describing words, like blue, pretty, and old. Spiral. Oh, I like that one. Steel. Oh, I like that one. Four. That was a good choice. Dynamo Girl Saves the Day by Christopher Blake Williams Time was running out. Dynamo Girl had to save the city from an evil scientist. She flew to his secret mountaintop lab. Once inside, Dynamo Girl searched the red hallways where she found a huge metal robot. <laughs> she quickly escaped by running down a spiral staircase and breaking through a steel door. Then, she saw the scientist's evil machine. It was green and had four flashing lights on it. Dynamo Girl hurled the machine into space forever! Maybe you'll be a writer when you grow up. Glass. That was a good choice. Two. Oh, I like that one. Spot. Straight. Hmm. Looks straight. Oh, I like that one. Very scary verbs. You can choose one of these stories from the table of contents. Old Man Jenkins. The Bedbugs. Old Man Jenkins by Glennis Campbell. This book needs a few verbs. Cringed. Oh, I like that one. Waving. I don't think that one goes there. Crept. Oh, I like that one. Waving. Oh, I like that one. This book needs a few verbs. Growl. Good job. Blink. That was a good choice. Raced. 
Good job. Whispered. That was a good choice. Old Man Jenkins by Glennis Campbell. I'm not afraid of Old Man Jenkins. After all, he's gone for the summer. I cringed when the guys dared me to stay the night in his empty house. <sighs> but a dare was a dare. So I crept in by the light of the moon. Waving my flashlight in the shadowy hall. Then I heard something growl behind me. I spun around. Two eyes blinked at me in the dark. I raced to the door. Later, I whispered. Later. I'm not afraid of old man Jenkins, but I sure don't like his dog. Maybe you'll be a writer when you grow up. The Bed Bugs by Glynis Campbell. This book needs a few verbs. Stretch. I don't think that one goes there. Bounce. That was a good choice. Stretch. That was a good choice. Yell! Good job! This book needs a few verbs. Play. Explore. Good job! Sneak. That was a good choice. Bump. Good job! Wash. That was a good choice. The Bed Bugs by Glynis Campbell. Don't ever bounce upon your bed. You'll wake up what's beneath the spread. The bugs might stretch the springs. Or yell all night, or meaner things. <coughs> Don't ever explore beneath the bed. <coughs> Don't sneeze too loud. <coughs> Or bump your head. <sighs> the bugs like their privacy. So wash the sheets, but let them be. You're really good at this. Burp. Good job. <laughs> you can choose one of these stories from the table of contents. Clarence the Clown. Grandma and the Bear. Clarence the Clown by Mark Towner. Looks like this book needs some nouns. Alarm. That was a good choice. Pants. Good job. That was a good choice. 
Looks like this book needs some nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing, like Jenny, Alaska, and book. Mr. Bingling. Oh, I like that one. Red. That was a good choice. Rear red. Good job. Car. Oh, I like that one. Clarence the Clown by Mark Towner. Clarence the Clown woke up very late one morning and tossed his alarm clock onto the floor. He ran to his closet and pulled out a pair of red pants. Clarence put on the rest of his costume and began to eat a donut. Suddenly, the phone rang. It was Mr. Bingling who said, Hurry up, you are late. Hurry up. Clarence ran out the door and tripped on a rake. He fell flat on his rear end. Clarence looked up, smiled, and said, Well, that's how I became a clown. That's how I became a clown. He got into his little car and zoomed away. <laughs> You're really good at this. Rock. Good job. Cl Clara. Grandma and the Bear by Mark Towner. Looks like this book needs some nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing, like Jenny, Alaska, and book. Japan. Good job. Rocking. Oh, I like that one. Sandals. That was a good choice. Park. Oh, I like that one. Looks like this book needs some nouns. Art Museum. Good job, honey. Oh, I like that one. Cat. That was a good choice. Grandma and the Bear by Mark Towner. One bright and sunny day in Japan, Grandma was sitting in her rocking chair when a big bear named Vern ran past. Luckily, she was wearing her sandals and took off after the bear. She chased the bear into the park. Grandma was very smart, and to catch the bear, she offered him a jar of honey. The bear was so happy, he licked her cat. Grandma decided to take the bear to the zoo. They had so much fun at the zoo that tomorrow, Grandma is taking the bear to the art museum. You're really good at this. Amusement park. Good job. We have a fine selection of reading materials. You can check out that easel for art, the chalkboard, or the bookcase for some fun reading. Or click on anything you see. Study a 
of animal kind. Psychology of science all about the human mind. Biology, science that deals with everything alive. Ecology, environmental science, how we all survive. And the earth's terrain Me, take orology Signs of the clouds And the wind and the rain Bah Ology Signs that deals With every single thing alive E Ecology Environmental science How we all survive To learn so much to find, I gotta get started. Gonna make some time. Science. It's in the art, it's in the tree. Science. It's in the leaf and it's in me. You can get started by drawing on this blank page. Select from the spooky cave, the baseball field, the futuristic planet, or the subterranean river. The spooky cave. Whoops! Looks like the picture fell apart. You'll have to help put it back together. I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. What? Hmm. Maybe that goes somewhere. Try, try it again. You got it! Let's try that one again. That's right! Good job! That's right! You got it! You got it! Good job! You got it! That's right! You got it! You got the whole thing! Great job! Now you can put stickers on the picture. Just click on the stickers book to select one. Red Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the pic. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture.
Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the pic. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Brown green. Orange. Select from the sp Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. If you want to save your work before loading a new picture, click on Save. If not, then select a picture frame Blue Select from, if you want to save your work before load the baseball field. Whoops, looks like the picture fell apart. You'll have to help put it back together. Try it again. I'm not, try it, let's, try it again. Let's try that one again. Let's, tr hmm, maybe that goes somewhere else. Hmm, hmm, let's, try it again. I'm not, hmm, I'm not. Try it again. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure of Hmm. Maybe that goes somewhere else. Let's try that one again. Good job. That's right. I'm not sure about that. Let's try that one again. Good job. Let's try that one again. Good job. Good job. You got it. You good job. Yellow. Blue. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Red. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click one that you'd like to color. Blue. 
Orange. Blue. Red. Yellow. Orange. Blue, brown, yellow, orange, gray. Blue. Click one. Red. Select for if you want to say the futuristic planet. Whoops, looks like the picture fell apart. You'll have to help put it back together. Mm. Maybe that goes somewhere else. Try it. Let's try it. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Try it. Hmm. Let's try that one again. Try it again. Let's try that. Let's try that one again. You got it! Good job! Let's, let's try that one again. Try it again. I'm not sure. Try it again. That's right! Hmm. I'm not sure about... Hmm. Maybe that goes somewhere else. Hmm. Let's try that one again. Good job. Good job. I'm not sure. Let's try that one again. Let's try that one again. Try it again. Let's try that one again. I'm not sure. Let's try that one again. I'm not sure. Try it again. Hmm. Try it again. That's right! You got it! Let's try that one again. That's right! Good job! Blue Select from the s Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click a Click on a sticker to select it. Click again. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Select from if you want to save your work before the subterranean river. Whoops, looks like the picture fell apart. You'll have to help put it back together. Hmm. I'm not try it. Hmm. Try it again. You're a hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Good job. Good job! Let's try that one again. I'm not sure about... Let's try... Let's... Hmm... I'm not sure... Try it again! I'm not sure about that one. Good job! Try it again! Try it again! Try it again! Good job! I'm not sure about that one. Let's try that one again. 
You got I'm not sure about that one. You got it! Good job! That's right! You got the whole thing! Great job! Now, you can put stickers on the picture. Just click on the stickers book to select one. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put... Click on a sticker to select it. Cl click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Brown. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the... Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. 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 Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the pic. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again. Click on a sticker to select it. Click again to put it on the picture. Hey, Picasso! Please, please do something before Frogface gets back on the adventure kick. Well, are you up for a little jig then? It's easy. Just give a little click on one of those words there and we'll get started. Select any one you like. There are nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Nouns. I think you'll like that one. Speaking, a person, place, or thing, like bread or chicken wing, each are a noun, so you're eating a noun. What about Susie Brown? That's a noun. Phoenix or Allentown? Those are nouns. A taste, a smell, a sound, they're all nouns. So, are you ready for another one? Verbs. A good choice. A verb is a kind of word with action. When you talk about anything that happens, I'll tell you how I learned this verbal lesson. A goat came in my room when I was dressing. He began to chew. He ate my tennis shoe. And when that goat was through, I heard him say his favorite verbs. Eat. Chew. Swallow. A verb also shows that something is. Like that 
that shoe was mine, now it is his. I'll tell you how I learned this verbal lesson. That goat came in my room when I was dressing. When he ate my pants, he hopped up and he pranced, spun around and danced. I heard him say his favorite verbs. Jump, skip, bo bo boogie. <laughs> On his final flight, I heard him say his favorite verb. Verb. So, are you ready for another one? Adjectives. A good choice. An adjective, you ask? Well, man, let me tell you. Adjective is the kind of word that describes things. Adjective is the kind of word that describes things. Adjective is the kind of word that describes things. Adjective is the kind of word that describes things. Can you guess which of these words are the adjectives? If you want to hear another one, click on a different word. You can check out that easel for art, the chalkboard, or just click on one of those floors, why don't you? The Boiler Room hey, Sir, where'd you go? Hmm. Oh well. The boiler room is cold and dark. Let's get our recycling done quickly. Click on that wall with the recycling bins when you're ready. You can click on the elevator if you're ready to go back. Rule number three of the adventurer. Always recycle. It's good for the environment. When I pull this trash handle, be prepared for the recyclable objects to start coming out of any chute. Your job is to get the objects in the right bins. You'll have to use these pipes above me for help. Click on a pipe and drop it along the path of the object to change its direction. I'll help you get started by calling out the names of the objects. Click on the trash handle to get started. That was quite a ride! Paper! Keep trying! See how much you can recycle! Glass! Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. 
aluminum, plastic, That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Paper. Glass. That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Paper. Aluminum. Plastic. That's one, That's more, one object. more object. Great job! You just recycled nine objects. <laughs> I'm an explorer. Click on me if you already know. I'm a. If you want to do. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus, and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. Plastic. That's the way to go. Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. Hardboard. Aluminum. Oh no, you lost one. Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Paper. Aluminum. That's the way That's to go. That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. Plastic. Cardboard. Paper. That's the way to go. That's one Keep more trying. object. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Plastic. Cardboard. Paper. Glass. That's, That's the way one to more go. object. See if you can get the objects in the right bins. See Great job! You just recycled 11 objects. <laughs> you just got a stamp of... Robin Hood! You just added a stamp to your collection. Click on a stamp to see it animate. If you want more stamps, try playing some games. Robin Hood. Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor. See if you can get the objects in the... was quite a ride. There's a bonus in this round. 
try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Aluminum. Hardboard. That's the way to go. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. Plastic. Cardboard. That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. Glass. Plastic. See if you can get the objects in the right bins. Oh no, you lost one! Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. Aluminum. Cardboard. Plastic. Watch out for one more object. Oh no, you lost one! Keep trying, see how much you can recycle! There's a bonus in this round! Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points! Glass Paper Plastic Aluminum the way to go. See if you can get the objects in the right bins. Great job! You just recycled eight objects. I'm a trailblazer. Click on me if you've mastered. If you want to play a Paper, glass, cardboard, that's one more object. See if you can get the objects. Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. Cardboard, plastic, paper, oh no, you lost one. See if you can get the objects in the Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. Paper, plastic, aluminum, oh no, you lost one, hardboard. See if you can get the objects in the right bins. See if you can get the objects in the right bins. Watch out for the spinning wheels. They spin your objects off in different directions. Keep trying, see how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Glass. Aluminum. Paper. Plastic. That's the way to go. You'll want to avoid the trash cans. We want to recycle. That's Not one more keep object. Trying. See how much you can recycle. Paper. Cardboard. Aluminum. That's one more object. Glass. That's one more object. Plastic. Oh no. Great job. You just recycled seven objects. If you want to play again, just click on the trash handle. All kinds of things will come tumbling out. There is chance and uncertainty with each of these perilous locations. Oh, brother. The clubhouse. Psst. We'll take you on an adventure. How about another selection?
The cave. 68 cents. 25 cents. 50 cents. 55 65 cents. 66 67 cents. You did it! And now, for your listening pleasure, the cave. I took a hike down Rocky Gorge a couple of years ago. I called my name to the canyon wall just to hear my voice echo. But then I heard an answer with such an eerie sound So I climbed on down the gully to where it came from down below I found a cave behind a rock, I called out who's in there I heard that chilling sound again, should I go in, do I dare? I crawled inside the cavern, couldn't see a thing inside Would I find a raccoon, or a skunk, or a hungry bear? I heard that spooky sound once more, didn't know what it could be I knew that I was not alone, but there was no one I could see Again I asked who's there, but the dark gave no reply So I turned around to climb back out when something touched me Heart pound fast, my throat was dry, I had to get away So I quickly crawled out to the light and ran home all the way I still don't really know what was in that darkened cave A monster or a savage beast is still a mystery today Dear Pen Pal, this is Bonnie writing from Kansas. I have been reading about animals and what they eat. Can you tell me an animal that likes fruit very much? Thanks, Bonnie. You can choose to work on this Pen Pal challenge, or you can look at another. Click on the... You'll like that challenge. Which animal likes fruit? Hmm, that's a tough one. Ah, uh, go on. There's a fruit tree outside the window. Just click on the tree branch when you want to go take a peek. Now, let's see. My guess is if we take a bite of these fruits, we might find our culprit. But it can take a little bit of concentration. Two. Blue. I think you're very fair. Two. I think you're very... Two! Two! Great job! Blue! Which? How about tail? Deer! I think you're fair! Deer! I think you're very blue! Fair! I think you're very fair! Fair! Great job! Tail! Which? I think you're tall! Tail! I think you're very tail! Tail! Great job! Night tall. How about another witch? Tall. How about another witch? Witch. Great job! Dear night. I think you're very blue. Dear. I think you're very close. Dear. Dear. Great job! Blue. Blue. That's right. Night. Tall. How about another night? Night. That's right. Tall. Tall. Good show. You got them all. Did you see the little varmint? It was a worm, if you wouldn't believe. I think you solved the challenge. You did a great job! Click on the letter icon to send a reply to your pen pal. Oh, you've solved the challenge!
We've got to send a reply letter to your pen pal. You'll need a stamp to send your letter. Click on your stamp book to select one. You just added a stamp to your collection. Click on a stamp to see it animate. If you Robin Hood. Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Well, that's a good choice. Well, let's write a letter. How about something like this? Dear Bonnie, I think the animal you are looking for is the worm. Have fun with your reading, your pal. I'll send your letter right away. The mailman is coming here on his way. What will the mailman bring you today? Attention! A postcard has just arrived from Kansas. You get to light up a new state. Good job. Dear Pen Pal, I would have never guessed it was worms. Thanks for your help. Your friend, Bonnie. Kansas. The Great Plains region of Kansas sometimes has cyclones or tornadoes. Click on the mailroom and Mr. Brewster will help you get started. <laughs> How about another selection? I'm an explorer. Click on me if you... I'm... The race. 75 cents. 25. 50 cents. 70 cents. You did it! Let's rock! Click on the mailroom and Mr. Brewster will help you get started on an adventurous challenge. Or you can go to any fun activity and just start playing for stamp points. Just click on one of those floors, why don't you? <laughs> 